Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. And I'm Karina. And guys, we've come up with a combination of words. The crossover of the century. <laughs> that I think you're going to like to hear. And, yes. And I guess to be fair, it wasn't us that came up with this combination of words. It was a fan of the show, Ndidi Nahusi, who said, Pokemon Dark Souls. <gasps> Love me some crossovers. Wow. And That's the words face. they said. They said those three words in that order, and yeah. we all died and went to heaven, and now that's where <laughs> we're drawing from, is yeah. from heaven. Yeah. So the way this will work is, I've got a random number generator from 1 to 807, the current number of Pokemon there are. Is that true? Yes. Are all the comments going to be like, oh, uh, actually, <laughs> one of the Pokemon me. only kind of counts. I don't it's fucking It's technically 108. <laughs> I couldn't care less. We're Ash doing... died and his ghost came back and it became a Pokemon. <laughs> we'll, we'll include Ash's ghost Pokemon on the list. I'm going to do a random number and then use, use that Pokemon and then I'm going to do a Dark Souls boss on it. Yeah, use it. 227. Wow. Oh boy. Okay, let's see what I got. Pokemon 227. Skarmory. <laughs> Skarmory. That's the metal bird. Now this is a good Pokemon for Dark Souls. Metal bird. Because it's an armor bird. He loves some death metal. Yeah. <laughs> he loves, <sighs> yeah. I feel like this is something that would already exist in Dark Souls. That's true. Now you can make double sure. Okay, he I feel like- He has like blades for wings. He does have blades for wings. Yeah. I guess if he is, yeah, it says armor bird. I do want to say that one of his abilities appears to be weak armor, which he's an armor bird. That seems counterproductive. I think that oh, he yeah. maybe weakens the armor of other birds. Because they look at his armor and they're his like- His armor can't be too heavy, he's gotta fly. Yeah, That's he, true. He does have to fly. Well, it's like a, it's like a plane, places. you know? I don't understand how planes work. <laughs> Fair. I, <laughs> uh, people who design planes don't understand how planes work. <laughs> There's an ongoing debate on what the prevalent rule that keeps planes up is. Is it the updraft or is it, I don't know. That's kind of a scary power. thought. I would think at least the people who make them would know what they're doing. The people that make them don't know the answer to that question? <laughs> no, they don't know which rule is like the more important one. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever it is, they're good at making planes stay up there. Yeah. <laughs> at least. That's good, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I choose to read this Pokemon's name as Ska Rumery. Rumery? So you're saying your preferred method is is Ska Ermery. Yeah, he's a big fan of Ska. It's got such a good flow to it. Then what's the Ermery part? That's yeah. his name. Ermery? Yeah, and then you join a Ska band and he was like, hey, call me Ska Ermery. <laughs> <laughs> this bit sucks. Uh, I'm so I'm trying to figure out how to like really like make this like metal as hell. Yeah, and I think sword tail. I want it like sword? a big like bird, sort of like more like a drake though. Sword everything. So like dragony sword everything is pretty good. Sword everything. I do like that. Sword art everything. <laughs> the I mean these things over here are definitely big blades, just like they are on the poke, on the poke themselves. What? So. With Dark Souls, I like to work my way from like lore back into design of yeah. these things. What if, what if, uh, Scarmory <laughs> is <laughs> the embodiment of all of like the dudes that went to go fight someone and like their weapons that got left behind became a bird. Became Ooh. a bird. I mean, that's pretty rad. I don't yeah. know why that would happen, but I like that it did happen. I don't know enough about Dark Souls to make this connect to the canon. I mean, if we, you know, are coming up with some like bullshit, like <laughs> the weapons were of great warriors and they were imbued with the spirits of the warriors, but now that the warriors are gone, the weapons still roam. Yeah, and then a know? bird, a, a bird that like shiny things came <laughs> over and was like, <laughs> "I'm gonna happened. possess that." Yeah, a, a bird <laughs> fell into the into the pile of weapons and was like, "Shit." <laughs> trying to get away. Like a cat when they get tape stuck to their paw oh. and they just sprint all over the place. Yeah, exactly like that. But it's yeah. a bird covered in blades. <laughs> yeah. I could definitely see something like this existing in Dark Souls. Yeah. Or it could even be like, you know, a bird that was, or a dragon or something that was experimented on for battle purposes uh -huh. as you do. Right. And then the whoever was doing the experimenting is long since gone at this point, but the bird still still lives. And it's just out there terrorizing. Right. 
doing some real messed up shiz. You'll notice that this bird is called Armor Bird, and so far I've <laughs> only given it blades. Ska. You didn't stop it. saying <laughs> ska. You're gonna you give it some ska. ska. Can you give it a little trumpet or something? This will not have a trumpet. <laughs> Take this seriously. Did you know that ska came before reggae? <laughs> Take this seriously. You're currently taking it unseriously, which I hate. Um, so I think <laughs> it's not a ska bird. It's a ska bird. I really like this image we have as reference. I never noticed how much Skarmory was shaped like a bowling ball pin. <laughs> oh, he is though. Yeah. Yeah, he super is. Oh, I kind of love him now. <laughs> you hated him before? <laughs> hey, you know what happens a lot of the times at bowling alleys? Ska concerts. <laughs> You know what a lot of ska people wore as shirts in the 90s? Bowling shirts. I'm seeing a connection here, and I want you to acknowledge it. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I'm over here trying to make a good drawing for the fans to enjoy. You're not trying, you're doing. And you're back here talking some real ska bullshit. <laughs> Although, you know, you, you have got me thinking. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. About what a ska armory would be. Like if oh. the great ska wars happened and like all the ska <laughs> guys had to go like armor up. Go to war. You know <laughs> that so many war. trumpets would be made in the helmets. <laughs> it would definitely be like a lot of horn related. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's really the gist of it. Uh, so here's like a spooky head. Oh, and it's got like these neck things going on too. Yeah, it's got a little choker. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I'd say. <laughs> I'm looking up ska facts. <laughs> Julia, I need you here present on this episode. I'm here present on the episode. I'm looking up you're, ska you're, facts. You're, not, you're over there giggling to yourself <laughs> at ska facts that you're reading because off of your phone. Those are only the tangentially first... related to what we're doing. <laughs> I'm trying to draw. I can only talk so much. Karina's over here doing her dang best. <laughs> the, the and really you're, not. Reading, you're reading ska. <laughs> the Karina's first over here result. giving 30%. <laughs> <laughs> the first result for Scoffax is Scoffax for kids. And I don't know why it's specifically for kids. And that made me laugh. It, it just means they don't have any curse words in them for kids. Yeah. <laughs> Scott Light. <laughs> you know, I think like if you're on like a dating website and you're mm -hmm. about to like go out with like a guy and you're, but you're worried that he may have like <laughs> formerly been like a ska dude, you can look yeah. up his Scoffax history report. Yeah. And get that information about mm -hmm. his past ska mm -hmm. endeavors. You know what you do when you want, uh, after you look up your ska facts about this dude you want to date? You uh, you go pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> Jacob, you're doing a wonderful job with this yeah. uh, ska worry. <laughs> the ska bird. The ska bird. There's like a plumage. Yeah. Oh. Situation going on. Should it not looks be like a the... horn. Would that make it too ska? Oh, the... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I do want to make it a horn, though. I guess it's not a horn, but I thought it was a horn. I like it. I mean, <laughs> it's giving me like curling vibes, like the handles that's on the top of the stones and curling. Oh. That's what I was thinking of. That's what you were thinking of, huh? <laughs> it's got a lot of stuff going on. It's got ska. Yeah, this, it's got sports. <laughs> this bird's got hobbies. <laughs> it's part bowling, part curling. <laughs> this bird's got shit to do. <laughs> Never a dull day with ska army. <laughs> Perfect, flawless. So happy to be here with both of you. I miss Nathan. <laughs> Nathan wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> he probably would be doing this. He would be making up more clever puns. That's probably also true. <laughs> oh yeah, so like if we make it like plates. Right. Like actual plates that are strapped onto this bird. This was like someone's steed into battle. Yeah, I think <laughs> This that's... is like a dragon version of Sif. Sif. <laughs> Sif. Sif. Did I say the right thing? Yes, you did, I'm proud yeah! of you. This leg is not. <laughs> this leg is not. Um, right. I think they have longer legs. Like this is an action shot. If Wait, you, do you if mean? you want that as an option, I think you have artistic license on this leg. Yeah, you oh, could give I him some like, like dope haunches. Well, he has a dope haunch. It's right here. Yeah, but I'm like, just trying to decide which it. way the leg goes. You know, I like him going in to like reach in for something. You know, his, his claws are front. 
Like he's coming down. Maybe he's like yeah, doing he's a dive. Yeah, he's about to grab something off the ground. Yeah, he's doing a dive. This is all metal. <laughs> this bird should definitely avoid all fish. There's blades. He'll just drown. <laughs> yeah, this is not an ocean faring bird. This bird hunts on land for big prey like bears and tigers and, and man. Mm. The most dangerous <laughs> game. Because it's doing a big dive. You got to watch out for the big dive. Yeah. <laughs> so that That's when he jumps like off this. stage uh, during the Ska concert and he does like a <laughs> crowd dive, but it's like a deep dive. So he like really just goes as far back as he can into the crowd. Yeah. It's a deep dive. Hey, you want me to deep dive on some ska facts for you? <laughs> Only if they're for kids. <laughs> I don't think Jacob's talking to me anymore. Hey, hey, Jacob. <laughs> hey, Jacob. <laughs> I'm done speaking in this episode. <laughs> I've done what I can do. And it wasn't enough to stop you. I think that the tail has a shield on it. The tail on the pogey has a pretty interesting shape. Yeah, but I'm ignoring that. Okay. He has like a bottle opener for a Oh, a he tail. does. <laughs> Yeah, it does look like a bottle opener. <laughs> crack and open a brewski. Literally what it is. No, I want the tail to have a big shield so it can oh. block because it's an armor, it's an armor poke. <laughs> yeah. As we've established and as I've perfectly demonstrated here, mm -hmm. this Pokemon is an armor poke. Oh, this is one of those new legendaries. Oh yeah, sword and shield. <laughs> and this one's got swords, it's got shields. It's got everything. It's got everything. This is gonna be the one in like the the <laughs> other version they yeah. make that has like all of them. Which everyone is jokingly saying is going to be Pokemon Gun, <laughs> which I do think is very funny, and I hope that that's what they do. I do like the fact that the shield is on the you know backmost part of the body. Yeah. Yeah. What's a blocking? <laughs> well, it, it's gonna like sw it swings forward to block if it needs to. You know, I feel like this Pokemon's got a lot of mobility, so it can like it's very around. flexible. It can deflect, deflect blows. Okay, I think this is about done. I think this is Dark Soul Skarmory. Yeah. And like in the render, it's going to have like, you know, all these like scuffs and like <laughs> dirt and it's going to be like old and shitty and like the helmet's going to be cracked. All that cool stuff everyone likes from yeah. Dark Souls. Yeah. When things are all old and rusty and dusty and busty. All right. I think I'm done. Sweet. Yeah. Karina, do you want to jump in and do one? I want to jump in and do one. You should jump in and do one. I'm coming. All right, Karina, pull up your random number okay. in the generator. 631. 631. Oh, 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 it's a little, oh, it's, oh. Uh, what do you call it? Oh, he rules. He's an anteater. <laughs> He's an anteater with fire coming out of his little face. Oh, oh I like this one. Yeah, this rules. <laughs> this guy's cool. I feel like I've seen this one like once ever in my life, maybe. I'm just gonna get a little body in, get a little something this, going. The squat that this anteater has. I mean, oh. there are like some silly looking enemies in Dark Souls also. I imagine. And like sometimes that's even scarier because you're like, this is a scary, weird world and somehow this stupid idiot thing <laughs> has survived this whole time <laughs> to come at me in the damn sewers or whatever. I'm trying to remember any dumb uh, Dark Souls enemies and the only one that I can think of is like very funny to just run past. <laughs> that I saw in the Summer Games Done Quick, which is the 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 dudes that just have big lumps on their backs, and they just look at you like, oh. Oh, yeah, the Eggman. The Eggman. <laughs> the Eggman. They got eggs on their back Aww. because they worship the, <laughs> the spider queen. Oh, uh, is that their deal? Oh, ew. Yeah, they're like disciples of the spider lady, and um, they worship her. And so they get, they get egged, basically. Yeah. And in the game, you can also get egged. Oh. And if you do and you don't do anything about it for long enough, eventually your head turns into an egg. Oh. Yeah. And you can't wear a helmet anymore, but you can squirt like a little leech out of your head Ew. at enemies. Nice. So that's something. That's very Binding of Isaac. That's a lesser known thing you can do in Dark Souls is make <laughs> your head an egg and squirt shit at foes. What a good feature. Yeah, it's a pretty good feature, I think. Here's a form. This is a good form so far. This is yeah. already spooky looking. It's nice and lumpy Scott. like a Dark Souls. Yeah. Big old claws. I think you went a good, you made a good decision in taking like the shape of the existing thing and then being like, all right, now how can I fuck this up? <laughs> how do I make it lumpy? Just push yeah. it, yeah. As opposed to my method, which was let's just draw a whole <laughs> damn thing, a whole new thing. Imagine this guy just like, you turn a corner and he's just squatting like this. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's like in the Souls games, everything's kind of got its own like history. Yeah. And like nothing's really there for you. So you'd definitely be like underground in like a burrow. 
and you would come across these guys uh, doing their thing. And they'd probably be very territorial. Mm -hmm. Like it's going to be real big. Like if this is, this is like your little burrow. Is your little. Oh. I don't know which ones these are. They still lag. Those are still lag tight. Those are, those are tight. Those are tight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So you come into like what to you is a very big chamber. Yeah. But to, to this he's fellow, squat. he's got to really squish in here. Yeah. And he hates it. Well, and so he's going to kill little, you. Is that a little butt pipe? Looks like an exhaust pipe in, on his, oh my his butt. Oh, goodness. This guy's got it all. He is kind of engine-y, I guess. <laughs> he is kind of engine I don't know what is going on in his lower front. Oh, that's his dick. <laughs> <laughs> There's two. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, there are two. He's by dickle <laughs> that's, he's, what that's, that's what that's called, right? That's the term. <laughs> it's like a bicycle that I have no interest in riding. <laughs> I like on the original one here, this this like armor, this wrist armor <laughs> mm -hmm. that he already has. I think it's like, because he looks kind of machiny. Yeah. So that's what, like, it's like car parts. <laughs> I am getting some real knuckles energy out of this dude. <laughs> yeah, there is, some, there is some knuckles energy for sure. I think the lore would be in this game, uh -huh. these like moles kind of crawl through the, the deep earth and they run through like remnants of old society and they get all these like parts attached to them from crawling through them. So they get covered in all these like machine parts. Mm. I was thinking that like maybe this was a creature that the people who were trying to make these big cool castles used. They like took these these cool, like almost godlike animals, and they just strapped a bunch of shit to it to make it effective for building castles. And then they only remain, and the people don't. See, that's good too. That's also Ooh, good lore. That feels dark soul. Maybe you to have me. to ask the self. Ask the self. Ask, ask the <laughs> self. <laughs> Confront the self <laughs> and ask it. Have you ever asked the self? Self. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about Pokemon and Dark Souls? <laughs> <laughs> All the time. It's it's got to be ambiguous well, though, you know. This is some like twisted metal shit, like castle parts. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, did people do this to this creature, or did it yeah. do it to itself? And we don't know. We can't ask it. This is. I'm getting like all Definitely. of a sudden Digimon vibes. A little bit. I I feel like some of the newer pogies lean a bit more Digimon. Lean Digi. Like the like the sword dog and the shield dog, those are very Digimon to me. Because they just have a bunch of like filigree just... on them. <laughs> yeah. And just like shapes. But they're not wearing enough like jorts or bondage clothes to yeah. be Digimon. <laughs> Once they start wearing clothes. Yeah. Like <laughs> jorts, some jeans. Because <laughs> Digimon always digivolve from cute little animals to <laughs> like bondage furries. Yeah, or like an animal wearing jorts with a gun. Yeah. <laughs> or just like. Those are the two kinds. A of man. Digimon. Sometimes they just become a man, like a big man. <laughs> yeah. A big nude man. Was Anjumon wearing sh jorts or, or he's, jeans? Anjumon is wearing. He's, he's wearing got something, clothes. but he he's has like jean like energy. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta look him up. <laughs> I'm looking up some Digimon now because uh, surprise, surprise, wasn't into Digimon either. <laughs> um, wow, they're just, they're something, huh? <laughs> this really... one's just a, a weird baby dino. What, the most popular one? The most famous Digimon? A Agumon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, he's, Agumon's the Welcome Pikachu. Welcome to the Digimon episode you've always asked for. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Digiverse, idiot. <laughs> Welcome to the half ska, half Digimon <laughs> episode. You thought you were getting <laughs> Dark Souls and Pogies? <laughs> Surprise. Ska and Digimon. <laughs> Are we gonna yeah, he get... has like some shit on his back. Yeah, he has some like real shit going on that I'm uncomfortable with. I'm just gonna make with. into a castle. Cause I don't oh, know I like better. that. That's cool. Yeah, he's just got like, he's just got shit on his back. Poor guy. Yeah, no wonder he's so mad. <laughs> he has to crawl around. He does have a very naturally angry face. Yeah. I yeah. do love his cartoony face and like the actual art. Yeah, he's got a very not having it look that I appreciate a great deal. I feel like that a lot. Yeah, this has got Karina energy. <laughs> this one was meant for me. This is my lad. This is a beautiful lad. And just an exhaust he's... pipe in his ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> poor guy. Just right in there. Like that's, <laughs> that's not good. 
That can't feel good. I imagine that when he poops, it comes out and just goes, thump, and just it's flies just a ball out. of it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like one of those tennis ball shooting machines. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On a bad dietary day, it just goes, thump, 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 Oh, Some gross. Shit back. Yeah, castle shit. Castle shit. Maybe some tiny people live in it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, because like, this will be you. Oh, so you're one of the tiny people yeah. that could live in it. Yeah, you could just hop on in. Here, you got a little fire, so. And so I guess according to this image of the original poke, the fire just kind of squirts out of his little yeah. his little mouth. Yeah, it definitely comes out like a little mouth. Yeah. He's just got bad dietary yeah. issues. <laughs> this guy's like, kind of just a mess. There's like a fire inside of him always because of his bad stomach. <laughs> and he has to get it out either through mouth fire or or butt <laughs> the butt launcher. Oh, he like fills the tunnel with smoke. Oh Disgusting. yeah, that sucks. <laughs> he really just has a tough time with things. Poor guy. I just want to be left alone. I'll have like some chains and shit. I'm very uncomfortable. Now I'm just making it difficult for myself. No, chains are good. A problem for later. Chains are very dark <laughs> souls. Shit chained to other shit is very dark souls. <laughs> and I guess he still has stripes. Could be like big scars. Ooh. Now we're into, into some business. Yeah. yeah. Isn't going this way, but. Ooh. We're into some dirty business here. Oh, yeah. This is cool. Another thing I'll make look cool later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This yeah. Is be real, real dirty because all he does is crawl around underground. Yeah, and get castle and parts this... chained to him. <laughs> yeah, poor guy. <laughs> He really just has a lot of trouble. This line on his mid shin makes it look like he has like shin high socks. Yeah, it does on. look like he's got on some socks, <laughs> some high socks. <laughs> I just feel like that sometimes. You know, <laughs> you're, you're crawling around underground. You need to. You still need to look cute though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> feeling cute today. <laughs> okay, there. Yeah, I there think is, that's um, heat more. That's awesome. I love it. It's got that energy where you- Looking spookier. You like it and you're scared of it, but also you feel bad for it, and that's very Dark Souls. That's my boy. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, my turn. Get in. Get in. Time for me to get my number, and what is it? 595. Oh, this is the thing. Oh, this guy's so cute. (laughs) Oh, he's so cute. Oh, it's a little baby. It's a little hairy baby. It's Joltik, by the way. We didn't say that. We just said said how cute he is. (laughs) What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Baby. (laughs) Make it Dark (laughs) Souls. There's some cute things in Dark Souls. Yeah, put a chain on it. (laughs) (laughs) Put a chain on it. Just lay it across it gently so you don't hurt him. He's a baby. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Please be nice to baby, Julia. <laughs> He's an electric bug. He's an electric bug. Electric. It's electric. Okay. I have I have an idea. Wonderful. So excited. I have an idea that will make Jacob unhappy, but I'm going to do what? it. Yes. Why would you make me unhappy? <laughs> it's the make Jacob unhappy episode. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with a with a shape here. Now now, but the is, shape you've started with is this shape going to be something I expect it to be? This is this is a head. This is a person's head. Yeah, that you've started with. You yeah. started with a person's head. A uh, well. Yeah. Yeah. It's an electric bug. It's an electric. <laughs> but you started with a person's head. Electric bugaloo. Is this going to be like the person that the bugs are on? No. Is it like a mummy, like the mummy situation? Like they crawl on you and you're like, oh no, and you have to like roll to get them off. Yeah, or that scary story where they nest inside that girl's face. Yeah, is it like that scary story where they nest inside that girl's face? What? From scary stories to sound in the dark. <laughs> That's the sound it probably makes. <laughs> scary stories is scary oh in God, the dark. Is Spider-Man? Beat him in. Yeah, you're drawing <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, you didn't no. tell me that Spider-Man was in Dark Souls. <laughs> There's a good reason I didn't tell you that. <laughs> okay, this is a pro wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm intrigued to see where so you're is headed it, with this. Is it a knight that's Joel Tick? Is, yeah. Is it gonna be like an armor set? Yeah. Oh. I wanna take like the feel of Joel Tick and kind of make it. In- <laughs> Do you do you see that thing and think soft? It looks oh, very soft. Yes, I didn't see soft when I saw this guy. It looks like it's covered in in the most beautiful hair. I 
have a different thought yes. about that. I thought it was just like very spiky and like bad to touch. Like You look at that and you think oh, bad like to touch? Oh, like yeah. the spikes are hard. Like a hedgehog. A hedgehog? <laughs> it does not look at all like that. It looks like a soft, fluffy friend. Follow your heart, Julia. Hearts can be wrong. <laughs> We've established that my heart is wrong. <laughs> it's like In many the, years of this show. The Celine Dion song, My Heart Will Go Wrong. <laughs> this looks kind of like some owl armor right now. It does. I'm going to have to figure out how to make it a little bit more bug-like. Yeah, you're going to have to bug it up. So this helmet, does it have hair? No, it's like armor plates. It's got hair. <laughs> this helmet got hair. <laughs> It's like a JoJo situation. Right. It goes straight into hair. Yeah, you're not really sure where the armor plate ends. Okay. Is that still armor plate? Mm. Or is yes. it hair? Oh. You don't know. <sighs> <Is> there, <laughs> what's what's the knight's hair doing under there? Um, it's this, more or less. So it fits the hair perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> perfectly oh. sheathed around. Yeah. Okay. It's that's, incredibly customized. Yeah, that's really convenient. <laughs> because the knight really wanted uh Really wanted head protection, but really wanted to keep that hair intact. Priorities. Priorities. Oh, his little face. I'm trying to decide how to make this a little bit more bug-like, but also jol joltic y Yeah, we got to get some lightning stuff going on here. Some lightning <laughs> theming. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this looks cool, but it's not cute, and I don't want to hug it. <laughs> there aren't many things in Dark Souls that you want to hug, I'm assuming. That's probably right, I guess. Other than the Onion Knight. I do, <laughs> do kind of want to hug. Yeah, I do want to hug him. He needs it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This would be like, in Dark Souls games, they have NPC invasions where like computer characters will invade you sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then if you kill them, you can get like special items. Like hugs? Like hugs. <laughs> uh, this would be like one of those. This, this NPC would invade you and you'd have to fight him off. Yeah. And if you beat him, you'd get his armor set, the Joltik <laughs> armor set. His name is Sir Joltik from the Lightning Land. <laughs> I need just a lot of spikies on this dude. So I think so he's going to have um, shoulder armor, of course. Yeah, naturally. Because he's got like a set of arms and a set of legs. Yeah, and they're so cute. He is so soft. They're so he's not soft. They're so stubby. <laughs> I don't see him as soft. I'm almost certain. It's soft. Yeah, I'm 100,000% certain. <laughs> I've never been more certain of anything. <laughs> There's only one thing I know in this world, and it's that Joltik is soft. Just, Joltik is soft, and Joltik is baby. <laughs> Those are the only things I know in this world. <laughs> oh, I like the under pauldron. Yeah, he's got Big two layers. Big fan of the under pauldron. He's got two layers. For when one's not enough. <laughs> yeah. Keep that like shoulder safe. I can't really like square anything off. I gotta make it. I gotta make it triangular because he's very triangular. This boy, I guess. But then he's just gonna have like little bitty arms and legs, like Joltik does. Yeah, yeah. They end right here. <laughs> <laughs> Please leave it like that. Oh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm coming. Gonna, I'm gonna get you so good. <laughs> I'm Joltik. There is precedent for uh, small people in the Souls series. In Dark yeah. Souls 2, if you go to Belfry Luna, I believe it's called, a bunch of really little dudes attack you. Really? <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, they're so little, and they really don't like you at all, and they want to get you. Joltik has never looked this intimidating. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Joltik has only ever looked like baby. Yeah, big baby. Big, beautiful baby. There's a little pauldron on this side to get that. So that above the hand spiky. And uh, okay. So I want to get the lightning in here. Yeah, you do. Because he's a lightning bug. He's going to have like a lightning weapon. Because lightning think... weapons are common in the Souls games. Oh, oh, yeah? Lightning is one of the elements you can imbue weapons with. Okay. So you're on track. <laughs> That's cool. That's, <laughs> That's the cool. only thing I've been on track with, I think, in the history of this show. Well, I was going to say that maybe he just has like a lightning rod, you know? Maybe it's like a big javelin or something. Oh, that's Ooh. I like that. Because I don't, I don't know how this little guy attacks. He just gets on you. He just gets on you. Yeah, he just tickles you. And then he shocks you with his little <laughs> lightning. And yeah. You, and you love it. 
<laughs> you are all about it. Yeah. Like, ooh, tingles. <laughs> Thanks, Joltik. Thank you. You are a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and you give him a little kiss. <laughs> Okay. I would never send this Pokemon into battle. <laughs> no. You can't. How could you? I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to, to wrap this up. This gonna, is this is my guy. You're going to put some lightning effects on that rod and post? Y- yes. <laughs> yeah, you are. I know you are. Nice. Going nice, to have some cool nice. glow, some lightning wow. glow. Yes. So he's wearing like a golden armor. With blue highlights. With blue highlights and yeah. That's yeah. rad. Cool approach, Julia. Thing. I would not yeah. have thought of designing an armor set, but now I want to do a whole video designing armor sets based on Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now. Stay tuned. <laughs> We're just going to get a lot of suggestions for that. Yeah. Well, it's cool. It is cool. Not I my fault it's it. cool. I didn't make it cool. I want to do it again. You made it cool. Yeah. You've already done it. Yeah. Yay. Does that mean I'm not allowed to do it again? Yes, that's what it means. <laughs> no. Banned. You're off the show. <laughs> no. <laughs> and on the streets. Oh, no. I've lost my apartment, too. <laughs> I think this is my guy. Awesome. Wow. Well, great work, Oops. everybody. This was fun. I like all the things we came up with, especially me. Good job, Jacob. You're ska I love Marie. ska. Yeah. <laughs> I love ska. I love Digimon. Everyone go watch Digimon and listen to ska at the same time. <laughs> I've heard that it syncs up <laughs> and you'll I'm find a hidden message. That's what this episode was really about. Yeah. <laughs> Does, I'm surprised that Digimon doesn't have like a ska intro considering I think it also happened in the 90s at some point. I'm trying to remember if there were any, if there were any like ska songs that ever made it into like the Digimon soundtrack. But You I know can't. there are. I can't remember off the top of my head what it. If you could been. remember off the top of your head, I'd be so concerned. Is there a ska Yu-Gi-Oh song? No. Dang. It. <laughs> and I like Digimon. Yeah, but if they you... had a soundtrack with Kids in America on it, it did have Kids in America on it. <laughs> we have to end this episode now. Yeah, we're kind of just drawing it out over nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We hope you enjoyed this. And if you'd like to see us do more like it, let us know in the comments below or let us know whatever you want to see us do in the future. Yeah. Yeah. And as always, we're sorry. 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 Hey, gang, if you like that video, then the best way to support Drawfee is to sign up for Dropout. It costs less than a tube of tennis balls a month, and you'll get Drawfee videos a week early. You'll also get to talk to us on the Discord and you'll get access to exclusive series like D20 and Cartoon Hell. Sign up for your free trial to drop out on dropout.tv. Won't cost you an arm and a leg nor your soul, though I did ask for that and they said no. So, whatever.